I would like to demonstrate one last example of dividing polynomials using the box method. But this time we're going to see a divisor that has three terms, not two. The process will be very similar. I have created a table with three rows because there are three terms in my divisor. So 3x squared, positive 2x, and negative 4 will represent each of the rows. We begin by placing the highest degree term inside of the box in the very first position. So 6x to the fourth goes into the first cell. 3x squared times how much will give me 6x to the fourth power? I need a common uh, a factor of 2 and uh, two more x's or x squared so that when 2x squared multiplies with 3x squared it gives me 6x to the fourth. Fill in the other two cells in this column. 2x squared times 2x is 4x to the third. 2x squared times negative 4 is negative 8x squared. Please remember not to worry about too many terms at once. Concentrate on one term at a time. For example, right now we made sure that 6x to the fourth is inside of my box and it is great. So that one is out of the way. I'm moving on and looking into the next term, the third degree term. My dividend says I need negative 5x to the third. My box has 4x to the third. So I need to make adjustments. I need to put inside of this box additional x to the third something to make sure that the total will be negative 5x to the third. Hopefully you can see that negative 9x to the third is that term. When I add negative 9x to the third with positive 4x to the third, the total here will be negative 5x to the third. So I'm done uh, taking care of a uh, third degree term. Um, at this point, I need to fill in my uh, column, my second column. So my first question will be 3x squared times how much is negative 9x to the third? I need a negative 3 and another x to do this. So 3x squared times negative 3x is negative 9x to the third. Fill in the rest of the column. 2x times negative 3x is negative 6x squared. And uh, negative 4 times negative 3x is positive 12x. All right, so we took care of fourth degree term, we took care of third degree term, now it's time to look into the next one, the squared term. My dividend says we need negative 8x squared. My total currently is negative 14x squared along this next diagonal. So as you can see, I need to just undo the negative 6x squared and if I do that, negative 8x squared will be exactly what I need. So it means I need to add 6x squared to this total. As you can see, these two are going to give me a 0 